Hey guys, welcome back to Max Cars Stone of War Unification. Today I have a 1 vs 1 for you on the good old Blood River map where we have on the southern side Rex random to turn it and I know he can play them versus Pax playing the Elder picked, picked faction of his. So he goes for double guardian into fleet of foot, two builders of course getting the aspect portal and one generator so no dark reaper spam. So for the, I think, because if you go for a generator, you don't go for Dark Reaper spam, that is. You can go two Dark Reapers, but you cannot go three. For Rex on the Tyranid side, we have a Tyrannicus Brute Spire indicating some Ravenous or some. What are they called again? These guys with the long talon thingy, commander like. Y you know the unit. He goes for Gene Sealers, but no Brute Lord. So this really indicates these uh, little command of feathers because you have no but he goes why do you go ravenous without group lord you will lose your synapse my friend you will lose your synapse and you need a uh, synapse creature to fall back on so this is a little build auto mistake in my book i think um he needs another dark reaper in a second <coughs> i think once this one finishes he has enough economy to get this point and get another dark reaper or another generator? No, Dark Reaper. Yeah, d double Dark Reaper is always the, uh, the the best opener if you if for if you go for a generator. That is, without a generator, it is uh, it is uh, three. You can even go three Dark Reapers. So let's see if he. Yeah, the Dark Reapers are in range now, but I think there will soon be some units spurring underground. I guess. Or two units, yeah, even both. This is a little overkill. Don't need uh, two squads of revenues. Getting their burrow damage. No, missing, missing the shot. Nice. Getting some uh, spore clusters here as well. But they, they, they can even, they can fleet of foot out of the way. Wow, I, d I didn't know that the uh, fleet of foot would be enough for this. But now they are in getting into melee range of these guys, but they, they can leave. So you need to. Uh, <coughs> um, Put him a little ahead, ahead of things. Nice, nicely played by Pex here. I, I like it. And Rex is getting something. Upgrading those. He needs to choose use his uh, influence for some uh, requisition income, or this assault will soon be uh, will be short lived because you cannot uh, how should you, you cannot sustain such an attack for long with only plus 23 so one uh, or two reclamation pools will be needed especially now that there is a listening shrine here <coughs> getting building more spore mines is uh, spore clusters is really nice but as I said your economy will catch up on you at some point this time hitting it Getting another generator, that is. Yeah, he needs to get some more upgraded listening posts to uh, defend against this assault. These Ravenous will not kill uh, buildings as fast as they did in the previous version, so they will die eventually. Oh, this one got really killed at heart. Got in, getting a lot of uh, deep strike damage here. This will be uh, toned down in the next version quite substantially, I tell you. Losing the morale here are those getting inside, but you do not have a synapse creature in the in that you do not have a brute lord in the in the vicinity, so they will not be as fearsome as they were. Losing quite a lot of models here. So where's yeah, reclamation pools three built now. A little too much at one point. Pax got this point, but the gene stealers will hack away, I guess. Getting his synapse back. Did he lose the squad? I think it was a squad wipe. Only one. Only one squad remaining, and we have two guardians and two Dark Reaper squads remaining. This generator has been built now. Getting the uh, uh, Bonesinger here to uh, build, trying to build up the squad, but yeah, this, uh, he will notice. She? She? The Bonesinger will not will notice that it's not uh, available. Pop popping down a minefield instead, that's a good one. Wow, this, this uh, burrow damage is really high. And now the <laughs> Spore class is coming in as well, hitting this Poor little bone singer in the backside, but he will continue. Okay, he, he was about to continue. Poof! There he goes. 
But it's only one spot of Ravenous. I don't think he can can win this with one spot of Ravenous, even with the Spore Cluster support here. Now getting the Reclamation Pools up, which gives him a uh, very much needed requisition income. Is he going tier 2 already? No. He's getting uh, the second squad of Ravenous back and constantly building Spore Clusters. Getting another Reclamation Pool, so he goes for all the economy in the world. But still, we have 90, uh, 98 and 20 against only 70. Uh, Six, so the economy advantage is in the corner for the elder here. These guys uh, do not want to stay here. This credit location isn't the uh, most important, although you have your little clown magic icon here, which is absolutely amazing. They, they burrow out of the way because the dark reapers were about to um, help the little guardian friends here. They really want this credit location. Bam! Even hit eating a, a spore mine or two to face for it. <coughs> Second squad of Ravenous coming in but there are two upgraded listening posts and the fast here now as well. Hitting a AoE uh, Psychic Storm I think it's called. These Guardians surviving with one squad which would be absolutely nice. Oh they already got it. So he has already the uh, taken hold victory going on. This point got you recapped and now trying to build a listening shrine on, but there are some gene stealers and ravenous um, saying otherwise. Tier 2 on the way. Tier 2 should be on the way for um, Elder as well. So we will see what units they will pack out in Tier 2. You can get upgrades for the ravenous. The ravenous can get their devourers or death spitters in Tier 2. And you can get adrenal clans or something. One upgrade for the ravenous and warriors, which uh, will in fact make these ravenous faster and higher attack speed, I think. Fast here, going into melee here with their spear. Doing a good. AOE attack, these guys do not have their synapse, so they will not deal any damage really. They have an accuracy only of 10%, I think, or reduced accuracy by 90 if your if your uh, morale is broken, that is. Not a, not a single dent in the morale of the Farseer. Two Dark Weaver squads and a listening shrine here defending against these Ravenous. So this attack of the Ravenous failed again. More Spore Clusters here, but you see that your eco goes down the drain if you try to uh, Continue with these spore clusters. <coughs> they are more of a support in the end, not a winning unit themselves. More Dark Reapers coming in, even now having their Exarc, which increases the damage of all Dark Reapers in the squad by 10%. With this leadership passive ability. Jesus, a lot of spore mines. The damage will sustain here. Whiffing this one. So the packs showing his uh, advanced micro skills, but now the reclamation pool flood comes in. Does he get another production building? He he, some, he he needs to. He's getting a hive tyrant, okay, but he needs a secondary production building. Either it's something basically. And elder, what is he going for? Fire dragon. I don't like this choice too much. Fire dragon is anti vehicle and building and the. Uh, Turrets do not have any vehicles whatsoever. All their units are infantry, heavy infantry or demon armor or commander in the sense. So these fire dragons will not be able to do a lot and they could go for this pool area here like the, if you are in the Mediterranean, Mediterranean area with all the hotels here you have a pool and every <laughs> few meters you can kill those. Um, but yeah, other than that, these fire dragons, I, I, I don't like the choice. I would love a fire prism, for example, I would have liked, or um, one of my favorite units for Elder is always uh, the warp spiders, to be honest. The warp spiders do quite a lot of infantry damage. So Now we have a hive tyrant coming in. The question is, uh, and a lot of gene stealers. The meme stealer advances here. The the fire dragons do have a lot of HP. There's another psychic storm coming in. And the hive turn. What does he go for? For sizing talent. So another melee unit. Let's see if this will be enough. He needs some upgrades for these revenues. And you can also get a lot of upgrades for the uh, 
Um, I have Tyrant. I think this was a global ability. Um, or is it ability of the Hive Tyrant? I'm, my my Tyranid knowledge isn't uh, the biggest one. There's, he's staring at this guy menacingly and killing it with his mind, I guess. And there's the Wraith Lord coming in. Also a very good choice. You do not need a Bright Lens. Please do not get a Bright Lens. Just stick him into melee and... He has a shuriken cannon on, on the side as well, so just stick him into anti-infantry uh, stuff. Getting a backhand for this little gene stealer here. Gene stealer acclimatization 1 is being researched. You can get the second one in tier 2. <coughs> so we have a little melee fight here. Hive Titan versus, um, versus Wraith Lord, but we know, now also have the Sunoprobes and the Warrior Brute Adrenal Glands. So it is Adrenal Glands. For the um, for the uh, revenants in the end, but I don't think there are any revenants anymore. We have now the sunoprobes dealing quite a lot of AOE damage, can make themselves invulnerable as well. Uh, or did they use it on the gene stealer here, on the singular gene stealer, so he does not die? I think you you could and should mind war one of the sunoprobes. They aren't the cheapest to reinforce in um, the sense for turnits. Getting another Wraith Lord out here, so this is this is gonna be ugly. I think these um, Sunner probes are good against aircraft and light vehicles and infantry blobs, but they will not be good against these Wraith Lords. These Wraith Lords now going into melee with the Warriors. Warriors going also for the Rending Claw, so we have a lot of melee. Do we have one? We have the Sunner probes and a lot of ranged units. I was thinking that there might be um, Bio Wars as well to support this fight from range. Wow, he kills this guy really hard. Bam! Before he continues to uh, do his little bug dance here. Now I have the Gene Stealer extended character, so he goes for a meme stealer build in the end. Now they have more health, they have the acclimatization. Um, but they, they will die nevertheless here in this prolonged melee fight. The second squad of Sunner Probes here, they are not killed in any way shape or form. I think the fast here getting a mind war of one of those would be absolutely vital here. But yeah, it looks really good for Elder. We have now, as I wanted, as I uh, suggested, now Wops, where there's two squads actually. The Hive Tyrant going down, so this looks really bad now for... Did he lift up one of his... Ah, he's confused! Ah, he, he, he has uh, used his global ability packs it is which can confuse a an, an vehicle. So, killing his own warp spiders here. Jesus. How long does it last, actually? Very long, it seems. Even a harlequin counter coming in. Also, a very good choice. This singular warp spider is now decapping. Very nice. Two squads of sun of ropes. What does he go for? Warriors. Tier, tier 3, actually. So. The question is, will he uh, live long enough? He has, he has some very good economy. He's getting all these spore mines, but he's... <coughs> Sorry, Wraith Lords will not care. <coughs> this one even has some uh, bright lands now to range the salt he's building. So the economy should at some point drop, but there's a lot of reclamation pools keeping him alive, keeping his economy high with, uh, high with 125. There's a little... Um, yeah, not family friendly uh, going on over here. A lot of cheat stealers in melee against the Harlequin. Harlequin getting killed. The Wraith Lords keep trying to keep them uh, alive, uh, trying to keep the enemy bugs at bay. I was uh, trying to say, but this um, warrior squad got the uh, I cannot die for 20 seconds a build ability put on. Lord of Pew Pew from the Elder. A lot of spore mines coming in. Tier 3 is now done, so what does he go for? Is the biggest question. Gene Stealer Infiltration, so we would need another Harlequin out to see this Gene Stealers. Gene Stealers in Tier 4 and Tier 3 are absolutely menacing to deal with. No special weapons, they used a little grenade, I think. A little, uh, um, Pukey ability. 
these guys are mean. Throwing around these, star, these dark elder ones, I think, these elder guys. More spore mines coming in. Every spore mine is some economy gone, but also the damage they deal is quite a lot. We have not upgraded the uh, sun probes yet, but we can get a uh, first squad of bio wars here. Where is it? These guys, best artillery unit in the game against infantry and buildings, not good against vehicles. Wow, these guys just refuse to die. Jesus, they have heavy infantry. They just do not die. Take and hold victory still, or again ticking for, for packs. Did he go for tier, th tier 3 in the meantime is the question, or was he on a full on, full, full on assault? He has quite a lot of economy, getting more warp spiders, getting another Wraith Lord. He's a little thinking this is the composition he needs. More Wraith Lord, more warp spiders. And I, I think this more or less is the winning combination, but they are now infiltrated gene stealers and some bio wars attacking from afar. These bio wars will not deal a lot of damage against vehicles, so I think uh, more focused on vehicles would be nice. There was a third ray thought coming in. I'm not sure, let's say a fire prism would be worth it. Or even a wiper in a sense that you can get a really good disruption on the enemy with it. But he needs to kill this farm of reclamation pools. If he keeps these reclamation pools alive, Brexit is, he will have the economy to sustain this. And getting some mean tools out, getting the bio, the gene stealer sizing talents, which will increase the damage by these from the melee of these brute lords. Uh, brute lords, I was saying, these gene stealers by quite a, bit, a large margin. You see now the revenants with the adrenal glands being a lot faster now, um, given that they all died before. <laughs> even the warriors are really fast with the adrenal glands now. The, uh, you even get some, can get some uh, warrior armor and, and uh, stuff, but he is focusing his upgrades on the gene stealers for now, killing another Wraith Lord here. Will kill another one as well. As I said multiple times, you need to kill these reclamation pools. Infantry going over here, getting uh, distracted by one squad over here, but he gets now a support platform. He has a uh, support platform on this side as well, so the economy for Eldar should be high yeah 182 jesus christ jesus christ getting tier three just now so this will let's see how this ends in the um after all i think rex is now starting to lose uh his economy need to watch from his side so we see this little stealers dancing with this uh race lord here good old race lord dance Killing his production is nice and all, but killing his economy will uh, seal the deal. If you ask me, a little Ravener deep strike in on the on the other side with some gene stealers here now. But I think what is detecting here actually? Ah, the warlocks, the warlocks from the guardians. So guardians, keep your guardians alive. Easier tier. If you hit tier three, these guardians will get a little upgrade in the sense that they will get dire ventures from armor and visually so we will know when he's tier 3 when they uh, get a little upgrade here but i think tier 3 is still on the way yeah, almost done more wraith lords and now the dark dark elder i always say dark elder the elder now coming in trying to seal the deal here you need to get these reclamation pools. How much HP do they have? Only 500, so you can kill them really fast and you should. Every reclamation pool is one LP, you could think of. <coughs> Six income per reclamation pool. But yeah, you also can kill these um, uh, spore mines, uh, spore kimnes. Yes, they will uh, reduce his uh, influence income also by quite a lot. Yeah, these, these meme stealers will not be able to uh, stem the tide against this large amount of elders. So this is in the end victory for Pax. We had a back and forth in the early game with a little uh, two overzealous attack of Rex, I would say, in the, in the very early game. Then a good sustained pressure in the mid game, which both sides could sustain. And then he even got tier 3 but couldn't do... Couldn't get a lot of units out in tier 3, uh, Rex that is, because he was under such heavy pressure. These spore mines, 
he spams a lot will help you fend off enemy attacks but yeah there there are units that just die and do some damage and are away so having them in mass will probably uh, hinder your economy quite a bit but yeah well we well played on both sides i have to say here you see also the dire venture models for the guardians very nice very pink because of his clown magic color scheme here i like it okay guys um gt's to, to to both players as usual thanks for watching and see you in the next video bye bye